subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In a daring operation, US special forces raided the safe house of ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi that led to his death on Sunday. US President Donald Trump spoke extensively about the operation. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is dead. According to publicly available information so far, in a raid that was eerily reminiscent of the manner in which Al-Qaeda terrorist Osama bin Laden was caught in Pakistan, eight American stealth helicopters carrying Delta Force and Navy SEALs came in fast and low into Barisha, a village in Idlib province in Syria near the Turkish border. This was about midnight and the soldiers were fired upon from the ground, but the threat was immediately neutralized by snipers on board the choppers. Just like the Osama raid, the soldiers rappelled down their choppers along with the elite K-9 units near the compound housing the dreaded terrorist. Interestingly, the US Special Forces seem to have made use of the canine squad to help sniff out the enemy. While details of what breed of dogs and how many were they are yet to be put out officially, the Americans usually use the Belgian Malinois for such airborne operations. The Americans early used German Shepherds to sniff, scout and discover. But it seems the smaller and more agile Belgian Malinois are far more capable for the task. Interestingly, this is the same breed of dogs used by the CRPF, the Cobra and the ITBP in their anti-Naxal operations. It seems that one of the dogs led the US Special Forces to Baghdadi's location within the compound. Once again, we stress here that details of the operation are still to be formally put out. Meanwhile, for the helicopters to reach the location in northern Syria, they had to fly for 1 hour and 10 minutes through the territory which is controlled by Russia and Turkey. Both countries were certainly informed about the operation, but not the actual target. The CIA had been closely tracking the 48-year-old Baghdadi for some time. One view is that Baghdadi's location was given away by one of his wives, nephew, as well as the wife of a courier who were arrested by Iraqi officials a few months back. US intelligence was so detailed that they knew the front door of the building was booby-trapped, and hence the soldiers blew holes in several places along the wall to get in. They also destroyed a car outside which was believed to have been an escape vehicle. Interestingly, several more soldiers had taken positions at the end of the only tunnel that was open among the many that the compound was built on. There was also a firefight with some of Baghdadi's closest security men in which over a dozen people were killed. The US forces were able to rescue 11 children from the compound. They found the dead bodies of two wives with their suicide vest on. As soon as the firefight started, Baghdadi is said to have run, along with three of his children, into a dead-end tunnel. The K-9 squad chased them with soldiers following them. The cornered ISIS chief blew himself up, killing himself along with his three children. The closest canine soldier was also injured in the blast and was evacuated. A DNA test was done at the site of the body parts. It was soon confirmed that it was indeed Baghdadi who had been killed. US President Donald Trump took to national TV to announce the death of the ISIS leader. With just one year left, for the re-election campaign of Trump, the death of Baghdadi is likely to help the president in reaffirming his position as a strong, albeit an able leader. For the print, this is Snehish Alex Philip. Do subscribe to our Prince YouTube channel for more such videos.